Uh, mm. Let's talk briefly with the clock against us about transgender mm. weightlifters. Yes, so allowing transgender weightlifter Laurel Hubbard to compete in the Olympics has been branded unfair by her rival a competitor. Now, she's from New Zealand and she's the first transgender athlete to compete at a Games after the weightlifting governing body modified the qualifying requirements for Tokyo. That's mm. the upcoming elections. Now, I think really quickly, Talk Radio's brilliant listeners probably know Caitlyn Jenner best for marrying into the Kardashian family. But before that, before coming out as a trans person as well in 2015, Bruce Jenner was gold medalist in the men's decathlon at the 1976 Montreal Olympics. Now, last month, Mark, she was asked about this and she replied calmly and coolly. She was asked about trans participation in the Olympics and she replied, cool as a cucumber, that it was a question of fairness. She stated that actually she doesn't support biological boys competing in girls' sports. Now, she was actually concluding that what needs to happen is the protection of girls' sports. Now, this wasn't some grand oratory in a keynote speech, Mark. It didn't go on for half an hour. This was three sentences by a gold medalist cutting through the Twitter babble to actually say, look, as an Olympian and as a trans woman, you cannot compete fairly with biological women. You cannot, as a biological man, you can call yourself whatever you like. You know, J.K. Rowling got into a lot of heat for saying this. Call yourself whatever you like, wear whatever you like, do whatever you like to your body. But you cannot deny science. You cannot deny biological reality, biological fact, biological truth. These things are immutable. And I'm afraid that those women who have worked their lives since adolescence to get to where they are, to get to be Olympic standard, it is grossly unfair to allow biological males to compete in these sports. And I, I, most of your listeners will be thinking, I can't even believe we're having this conversation. Why are we debating this and stuff? Don't, Come and on. Don't, don't take our word for it. Listen to Caitlyn Jenner, who is a, exactly. a truly... Um, inspirational figure for the journey she's been on uh, she's a remarkable human mm. being um, and yet she's been labeled transphobic oh, yeah. by mm. by non-trans women like the comedian sarah silverman in, in what was the most bizarre video mm. of the month uh, last month so clearly um it, it's it's important to understand the female sport must be protected that's what's on the line here yeah, definitely. De and uh, I've said this on your show many times before, but we go back to that really important point that I think it's very easy to laugh about this stuff and just say, well, it doesn't really matter. But it does when you've got the Olympics body actually saying that biological men can compete in these women's only sports. The problem is that once sex doesn't exist anymore, Mark, then same well, sex the women, attraction the doesn't women exist. can't beat them. Exactly. I mean, a woman, yeah. a, a, a woman cannot it's a woman weightlifter cannot cannot beat somebody that that was born a male weightlifter no you just have you have advantages that a biological woman simply does not have they, they, we know this everyone knows this you don't have to be a, some the the world's most elite scientist and, and of course here's the crux darren there are mm -hmm. unlimited genders and uh, well uh, all of those genders i i acknowledge and recognize but there are just two sexes yeah oh exactly fine two sexes and Let's respect those two things, the, these, those immutable truths, and let's not say, actually, that sex doesn't exist, because once you say that, same-sex attraction doesn't exist. Once you say that, women don't exist. Once you say that, protecting women's bathrooms, women's refuges, all of these things start to fall away. The tools, the contract that we have in society, but with one another, the language that we use, the, uh, the definition of these words that we use at our disposal every single day, these things matter. A woman is a biological woman and biological women, or rather biological men, should not be competing with biological women in the Olympics and other sports. It's as simple as that. And that does not make you a bigot, no matter how much some voices on Twitter might like to scream about, especially during a Pride Month, which is, just strikes me, Mark, as virtue signaling month. But there we are. <laughs> Darren Grimes identifies as a brilliant journalist and you can catch his work on his very popular channel it's called reasoned uk it's on youtube and of course darren returns in a week's time